Hello, I'm Stuart Thompson. I'm the editor of Digital TV Europe. I'm here with Simon Karabowski, who's CEO of StreamVX. Simon, can you tell me a little bit about the background of StreamVX and also VX Finder, which is one of the, the products you uh, you have from that? Hi, Stuart. Nice, uh, nice to have you. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, StreamVX is a product company. Uh, we are uh, delivering technology for the video pipelines. Uh, uh, throughout the whole uh, video pipeline, starting from the camera, ending up on the applications uh, at the customer homes. So uh, uh, we delivering pretty much uh, something in the uh, in the whole chain. And uh, yeah, one of our products recently uh, released is is VX Finder, uh, which is a very interesting option to optimize uh, some costs, but also to simplify or implement uh, functionalities uh, all over the uh, modern video deliverer. Uh, like uh, cutting off the uh, storage space uh, for the catch-up assets, but also implementing some uh, additional features like uh, skip intro button. Great. And when you look at the problems you, you're trying to solve here, when you see a service provider with introducing things like catch-up TV services. What are the main cost-related challenges that those service providers face when they're trying to introduce those services or, 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 or provide them? Yeah, of course, uh, we all know that the, the modern video technologies aren't really cheap, but uh, that what happens, uh, there are plenty of factors, basically. But uh, what, what we noticed is that uh, there are several issues uh, around the catch-up or rest sort kind of TV uh, services, uh, which is simply uh, uh, not delivering precise uh, start and stop of the assets or events or shows you want to watch. Uh, and on one hand, uh, it, uh, it uh, goes to the, let's say, poor uh, user experience uh, issues. But uh, from the perspective of the pay TV operator, it's, uh, it's hitting uh, uh, heavily on the storage. So uh, this cost at least uh, we can uh, significantly uh, deduct uh, because uh, well, from our experience, uh, you, you can cut even 15% of the storage uh, using our tool to cut very precisely uh, assets uh, when it starts. Because what we know, uh, most of the deployments right now are based on the EPG data, which basically are not accurate enough. And they won't be because there is a lot of advertisement in front and that's the way TV works. Uh, so our tool is simply cutting the asset exactly when the show or even starts. And it does the same at the end, of course. So uh, it, it basically beginning and the back of the asset uh, is, is precisely fitted uh, into timing. And that's one, of course, on top of that, uh, Plenty of times uh, there are some tries to uh, implement, I don't know, manual labor, and there are some people which meta tagging this uh, this data to optimize it, but it's also a cost. And our solution is simply uh, simply automated. So uh, and based on the on the pattern searching on AI uh, solutions, so it's very very efficient and definitely on the long term, uh, it it spares you a lot of labor and uh, money. Great. Now, can you explain just in a little bit more detail how VX Finder works and how it helps reduce those costs and keep them under control? Yeah, so VX Finder is basically a tool which is uh, capable to look for a pattern uh, into the video. Uh, the good thing or a very nice thing uh, which we see as opportunity for the, for the pay TV operators, existing pay TV operators, it, it's also capable to, to crawl through the existing library. So you, you're not only optimizing a current uh, incoming assets into a library, but if you have a big library of the assets, uh, you, you can also uh, push it through the VX Finder and, uh, and get the storage back uh, from the existing uh, uh, library. It's looking for a pattern you match. Uh, usually, the advertisement start or stop break or different or or, or the show stop uh, start uh, uh, intro, let's say. And based on that, it's uh, it's capable to do several things, and it really depends from the ecosystem. So that's also a huge advantage of the VX Finder because it's not dedicated for some particular system, uh, it is capable to blend in into basically any ecosystem. So we can deploy it uh, and uh, adjust it to 
uh, to existing environments, which is very important because uh, we know that there are a lot of sophisticated deployments around the network, uh, around the operators, pay TV operators, and they simply uh, have an issues with uh, uh, with putting something like that uh, in, in, into the workflows. And uh, on the other hand, uh, as we uh, as we initially said uh, a word about it, uh, th there are also features which which are hard to implement, uh, like uh, skip intro, which is basically a golden standard right now. Uh, everybody from the customer perspective demands uh, that kind of functionality because it's quite obvious. We we change the behaviors of the watching of the of the TV basically. So we, the binge watching uh, is forcing. Uh, operators to deliver the experience, which allows you simply to just jump from the end of the previous episode directly to the action in the next or following episode. And this is really hard to deliver because not all broadcasters or content owners are delivering this, this metadata. Uh, and the VX Finder is able to really uh, put this stuff uh, into the workflows again uh, on the existing or new uh, new assets, new new events, new shows. Uh, just on the fly, uh, or integrate with the players or with the infrastructure the way the operator needs to implement such a button. So uh, it also uh, gives you a kind of new feature set uh, to the uh, existing environment, which is pretty cool. Right, yes, you mentioned at the start that it's not only just about cutting costs, but about improving the user experience as well. And these additional features um, and applications are, are, are something that the VX Finder can also enable and skip intro is really the key to that. True, and uh, we, we're speaking about uh, right now, we started from the perspective of the pay TV operator and the features which we understand are the cost optimization and, uh, and the user experience, but there's one very important usage for the VX Finder, which is bringing a new business to the pay TV operator. And uh, what I mean about it is a programmatic advertisement because everybody's speaking about it. The whole market is going that direction, is aiming that direction. But again, the ecosystems which are currently launched uh, very often are not ready to simply deploy that kind of feature set because the signals on the inputs are lacking of the basically metadata, which allows you to change the advertisement or adjust the advertisement or inject a new advertisement. Uh, or uh, the rest of the pipelines are not ready for that. And VX Finder is also in this place, a perfect solution to provide you this uh, meta tagging or to interact with the devices in the pipeline to be able to inject the advertisement. So that's also a usage which is uh, uh, based on the same mechanism or based on the same technology, uh, allowing you to find a pattern uh, like beginning of the advertisement block and uh, uh, inject something, which of course that, that must be integrated with the licensing of the broadcasters, but that's happening actually on the market. We know that everybody's working on that already. Uh, and there are a lot of pilots around the, the, the world, which uh, some of them we also uh, having uh, participation with. So uh, VX Finder is simply giving you a tool to, to tag the stream and uh, or or the assets on the video uh, libraries on the VOD libraries, and inject the advertisement in the right place in the right time, but uh, on the automated manner. So again, the labor uh, labor is uh, uh, is not so significant as it would be when you're doing this manually, but also it gives you simply the entrance to the market where the new income is coming to the pay TV because uh, we know that uh, the whole advertisement market will uh, will simply switch for this uh, more precise or programmatic advertisement uh, very, very soon. Right, so VX Finder can not only help uh, service providers uh, cut costs and save money, improve the user experience, but also make money from, uh, from a new revenue stream. Exactly, it's uh, it's a little and of course the, the, the very cool thing behind it is uh, is very uh, very flexible and it, it can rise with you. So it can start doing a simply job to uh, uh, to optimize your workflows uh, for the beginning. But when you get ready or you want to trial a dynamic ad session, you already have a tool which we can adjust or we can. Uh, uh, deploy wider in, into the ecosystem and simply use it also for different purposes. So this is a very smart uh, approach to the to the modern ecosystems. It's it, it's a very universal tool, uh, but again, as you said, uh, it's quite important. It's on the optimization 
part uh, on the uh, on the direct cost uh, new new business income, but also we, which StreamVX uh, recognizes a very important this anti churn part. So uh, UI UX uh, user experience general generally is very important. People people in our opinion are really looking for the uh, quality in the services right now. So they. They really uh, want to change for the something which is convenient, and this finder is also in this place, so it's uh, it's capable to deliver stuff which is which is maybe missing or uh, it was hard to implement, and it's capable to do this uh, fast and, uh, and easy. Great, fantastic! Sounds like it addresses a lot of the uh, the issues that service providers and operators uh, face today. Simon, thanks very much. Thanks, Stuart. Nice to have uh, seeing you. Thanks. Thanks a lot.